well, let's go ahead and get started, and let's first talk about these icons that are here at the top. Okay, first we've got New Project, Open Project, and Save Project. These options are also available under the File menu, New, Open, Save. Okay, and this will basically allow you to create a new project or basically give you a fresh mat to work on. Okay, when you first open Shortcuts a lot, you get a new project on your screen. Okay, so let's say you're working on something and you don't like what you're doing, you want to start from scratch, you can click on New Project. Okay, Open Project will allow you to open your saved SCUD files, and Save Project will allow you to save them. Okay, and the next three options we have here, we've got the Import SVG option. This is pretty much self-explanatory. You click on this, a window is going to come up and ask you to select an SVG file. Okay, so there we have the SVG file. Um, this is the trace image option, which we went over in our last video, and that's also accessible here under File, Trace Image. Okay, and then this is our shapes library. By clicking on this, it will actually bring up this window here. Now you'll notice if I close this, and then if I click on this icon, it'll bring it back up for me. Okay, and then of course you've got your cut with Cricut option. You've got your preview option, which shows you in red what the Cricut is actually going to cut. And then you've got your preview all button, which we'll get into here in just a minute. Okay, so basically these are just shortcuts to some of the more common things that you'll be doing with shortcuts a lot. And also the help button here, um, that will actually bring up a short manual that was written by Craft Edge. Okay, so with that said, let's discuss the concept of pages within shortcuts a lot, okay? The first thing you'll notice when we open up a new project, which I'm going to do is go to File, New Project. Okay, you'll see that right off the bat we're started with page one, okay? So don't, don't let this confuse you. It's actually very useful and very simple. Let's say that you're working on a big project for uh, your son or daughter's or, or friend's birthday, and you're making cards, you're making cupcake wrappers, and you're making a banner or a pennant or, or something, okay? And you want to keep all this stuff organized because you know that it's going to take you a little while to figure out your sizings, what you want your captions to look like, so on and so forth. And let's say that you, you, you want to keep all of this organized in one central SCUD file. Well, the page option will allow you to do that. So let me give you an example here. So for page one, Let's just say page one is going to be a card, and I'm just going to do this really quick just to kind of show you. I'm going to click on this, uh, this square here, and I'm just going to pretend like this is my card. I'm going to click on my type tool, and just type happy birthday. And I'm not going to be neat with this right now, I just want to kind of convey an idea here. Okay, so here's our card, okay? And what we can do is if we go under page and go to page properties, we can give this page a label and we'll call it birthday card. And let's just say that we want to make it orange just to kind of help us identify what it is. And when we click OK, you'll notice that right here we've got birthday card, okay? So now what we do is we go to page and we add a new one. Okay, and page two, we're going to call this cupcake wrappers and we'll leave it as the color green that's fine okay so you'll notice here that we've got two tabs now we've got the cupcake wrappers tab and the birthday card tab and that's just gonna help us keep everything together but separated and organized okay so under cupcake wrappers I'm just gonna pretend that this is a cupcake wrapper um, just to just to illustrate or, or convey this idea okay so we've got that and let's just do one more for kicks here we're gonna add a page and we're going to call this one uh, banner. Okay, and here's our banner. Well, another thing you can do is, let's say you've got 10 pages and you want to organize them based on whatever. Well, you can actually take these pages and click and drag them. Okay, and you can move them around so that you can, you know, organize it however you want, alphabetically, um, by style, by category, whatever you want to do. Okay, so here's our banner. And I'm just going to make a fake banner here okay all right so that pretty much that, that pretty much sums it up as far as the pages are concerned if you don't like a page you can hit on hit the X here and it'll get rid of that page and it asks you are you sure you want to delete the page birthday card you can hit yes okay so let's do this let's save this as a project 
say project as and we'll call it John's birthday and I'm gonna hit save okay and then we can go ahead and let's do this let's open up a new project just to clear off the mat and then we'll go to file and we'll open project and double click on John's birthday and there you go there's the cupcake wrapper and the banner obviously the um, the birthday card I, I deleted that page so it didn't save it okay and that's pretty much it as far as pages are concerned it's just like I said just another way to help you keep everything organized and together okay and finally let's just look at this this tools menu here this is the selection tool and this will actually when highlighted allow you to select and modify different elements on your mat okay as opposed to this hand tool which allows you to just move things around and this hand tool is useful when you're when you're zoomed in and I, I clicked on my my magnifying glass here I'm gonna zoom in a lot okay and I'm gonna grab the hand tool and I can move it around so if you're doing some intricate welding or creating a very intricate um, caption and you want to get really detailed and you just want to kind of move around real quick without having to go down here and use the sliders to, to move you up and down you can just grab the hand and, and, and move it around okay so that's what that's for and then obviously you've got your magnifying glass zoom in and zoom out okay and you've got your type tool and this is how you put down text so now in the previous version it was all one mouse for everything and it could get kind of confusing but with the type tool you're actually telling shortcuts a lot that hey let's focus on text now okay so with it selected and if you notice if you click and hold it it will give you a vertical type tool as well so you can type up and down and I'll show you that here in just a second um, so with the type tool selected I'm gonna go ahead and click on my mat and I'm just gonna type okay so that's that and you'll notice if I click here and click on the vertical type tool actually let me zoom out just a little bit here click on the vertical type tool it's already selected and click here and I'll type happy and you can see it types vertically okay alright so that's gonna conclude it for this video and I'll go ahead and just get started on the next one